Hey, 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 guys. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. My name is Kamoy. Thank you once again for clicking on this video. What's going on with my hair today? All right. We will be doing a wonderful sign of Aquarius today. Your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. We're going to be looking into the energy with this full moon in Pisces, okay? This is all about revelation and understanding or maybe gaining some understanding to things that you want may have been once confused about my wonderful Aquarius okay so we're gonna take a look at the truth your um your truth versus their truth um and the truth versus your truth and their truth okay and so uh keep in mind that energy is fluid my love okay which means that you are going to have to apply it where it fits and you leave what you don't need okay so you take what you need you leave what you don't remember it is interchangeable this can be your energy the energy that you're interacting with so keep in mind if you're a cross watcher okay i'm saying aquarius energy but you the cross watch and it fits more like your energy you can then feel free to swap them okay so welcome my cross watches i appreciate you guys just as well all right my lovely so these videos are for anyone on their spiritual journey if you feel like you're a spiritual ascendant if you're a light worker an empath an energy healer if you just know that there's some shit going on and you can't quite put your finger on it you may be able to find something here if you're seeking spiritual motivation inspiration guidance confirmation you may be able to find something here okay my lovely aquarius okay once again keep in mind energy is fluid so you keep what you need and you leave what you do not okay thanking our angels thanking our guys thanking our ancestors thanking our higher self thanking the divine masculine and feminine energy we are thanking all of the energy in the atmosphere that is here to help god protect encourage motivate and give us the courage and the strength to take action when it is time all right what do you want my wonderful aquariuses to know with this full moon energy coming in let's pull your chakra cards first what do you want aquarius to know with this full moon energy coming in all right, my lovelies, just in case I didn't mention, I will be going live tonight at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be tapping into the energies of Uranus in retrograde uh, in the second house and how that may fit to you, uh, uh, your sign. Uh, we're also going to be tapping into some of this full moon energy and what we need to know, okay? And that's going to be 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight, Friday the 13th, which is a very powerful number. Okay, my loves. Uh, and I will be doing Q&A. So once I'm finished with the general poll, I will be jumping into the chat and answering questions. Okay, my loves? All right. What you got for my wonderful Aquarius? <sighs> Gemini and I had the same, like, so uh, solar plexus tension. I'm feeling solar plexus anxiety. So let's take a look. I don't know if this is going to be an ear thing. Um, let's take a look. All right. You guys have crown chakra work going on. Destiny. Okay. And you got confusion. It's also crown chakra work. Now, this is, this is all, um, higher vibrational energy. This is direct communication with source. God, Allah, Buddha, Krishna, um, Gandhi, whatever or whomever you connect your higher self with, um, this card represents that direct divine connection. And when confusion shows up, it shows up to let you know that you don't have to be confused because you have guides, you have angels here to help you, ancestors here to help you. And I did an empath video, so if you have not checked that out and you're an empath, please go ahead and do so because there was messages that you guys should um, be aware of in that video. Uh, so confusion is just saying you don't have to be confused anymore. You have help. You just need to tap into your help. Okay. Uh, then you have more crown chakra work. Once again, crown chakra, direct communication with source, higher self. Okay. And you have destiny. So within this full moon energy is saying, if you're confused about your path, your purpose and your destiny, you don't have to be confused anymore. Okay. And we're going to get into that. All right. All right. Clarify for my wonderful Aquarius. What you want them to know with this truth and this full moon in Pisces. What do you want my wonderful Aquarius to know? I'm also feeling shoulder tightness. That's um, the lover's card. So that would be like um, Gemini's energy. So some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. Or it could simply mean that you may need to be more flexible. Okay. Let's take a quick look. Oh, let's pop it on out. 
Okay, we starting off like that. So they want you to pay attention to this Five of Wands energy in the atmosphere. Five of Wands energy is all about maybe some type of conflict um, or tension. Maybe even some type of competition. That's intuitive energy. And also remember, five represents change too. So this competition or this conflict could be ushering in change. Um, five of Wands is also about intuitive energy. That's fire energy, very intuitive energy. And it's also your energy level. Okay, um, and the number five has like a lot of curves, you know, like it's straight, you know, straight and then curved. So you may have to be a little bit flexible um, is what I'm hearing. And the five of wands is clarified by the three of wands and the three of wands is also intuitive energy. So it looks like there was no long term plans or maybe even things felt delayed or um there's no, um, maybe just a lot of obstacles in your way when it comes to whatever it is um, that you're, you're in conflict about. But you have the emperor on the board and the emperor is in reverse. So with the emperor being re in reverse, this could be very um, rigid and um, you could be dealing with someone where uh, it's my way or no way, very dominating energy, okay? Um Yeah, and you could be dealing with an Aries, right? Empress Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries. And this is the number four in the board. And if you look at the number four, the number four is very straight and kind of rigid, you know? So, like, very straight line. Like, all the lines are straight. There's very, you know... Uh, yeah, so this energy is um, very controlling and domineering. And it's like kind of like my way or no way. All right, clarify what else you want them to know about the truth that they're dealing with. Clarify. Yeah, so there was no, um, there's conflict. There's no plans being made. You, you feel like there's no plans being made. This is very controlling and dominating energy. Okay, very inflexible. Okay, and it could be really, really controlling energy. Like, seriously, you got a lot of wands popping up here. A lot of intuitive energy. Yep. And it's like this situation makes you feel fearful, like just fearful of the unknown. Could even, this is probably where this confusion is coming in, and especially with your purpose, your destiny, your path, like what you want to do next, right? The two of wands are saying in reverse, like, okay, mm, didn't I tell you you could be dealing with a Gemini? Boom, lover's card. Didn't I tell you I felt like the, the shoulders from the lover's card? You got the lover's card in reverse. This is Gemini's energy. Shit is not in balance here. Shit is not in balance. There's disharmony. Shit is not in alignment. Oh, shit. You got the Eight of Cups here. You're about to walk away from something. I kind of feel like decisions made. Right? Because this Eight of Cups. Yep. Whatever this disappointment is, you are really contemplating if you want to walk away. You're really contemplating if you want to walk away. Then I say this, look, you in four cups mode. Four cups is all about you. Yeah, you in your head. You contemplating this. You are definitely contemplating this. You are reevaluating that thing. You don't feel like this is going anywhere. You are contemplating everything. Mm. See? Okay. The magician in reverse. This is manipulative energy. And this is like poor. There's no planning going on here. Manipulative energy and there's no planning going on here. See? Bottom of the deck. We got the nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles is when you're supposed to get in a place of gratitude. Like you're supposed to be um, getting to a place where you're... um. You've put in the work. Now, the only thing that's left to do is to sit back and watch things manifest. Nine of Cups is literally being able to sit back and look at all of the steps that you've taken before things come into full completion. Right? Nine of Cups is completion. I mean, nine represents completion, right? Nine represents getting to a place right before you get to ten. Ten reduces to one, which is creation. So, nine represents all of that work that you get right before you get that manifestation. But this energy right here, in reverse, this magician card, that's that manipulative, aggressive energy that we've been talking about. 
okay? And if you're not the one thinking about walking away, somebody's thinking about walking away. Yeah. You thinking about walking away? Look at this. This page of pentacles with this magician. Yeah, you're thinking about walking away. And if you can look at this, uh, it looks reversed on your end, but on my end, he's looking towards the future. He's 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 going to the right, which means that he's moving towards the future. This is very methodically thinking about how you want to move and setting that into motion. Okay. And you know, Pentacles is all about your security. And I told you, Uranus is in retrograde in that second house, which is ruled by Taurus. That second house is all about your security, your finances, your relationships, your money. Okay. Yeah. So the truth is you are seriously contemplating about leaving and walking away from something. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could also be dealing with a um, Mercury. The, I think Gemini. I think Mercury is Gemini. You got a lot of Gemini in this board. Yep, Mercury is Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You got heavy Gemini in this board. You got the lover's card is Gemini. You got the magician, which is Gemini, uh, which is Mercury, which is um, which rules Gemini. Let's get into your energy, my wonderful, wonderful Aquarius. Okay. All right. What do you want Aquarius to know about their energy? What do you want Aquarius to know about their energy pertaining to their destiny in this confusion? What do you want Aquarius to know about their energy? I may have to charge my computer. Okay. Okay, you got the um the Queen of Rainbow in this deck, which is the Queen of Pentacles. You got the Six of Rainbow, which is the Six of Pentacles. You got the Silent card here, which is the um the Star card. I don't know why they. I really don't know why they make it the Star card in this deck. Cause to me, I would have probably made this the Moon card. Let me just charge my computer, guys. I probably would have made that the moon card. That looked a little bit more like the moon card. And I probably have mistaken it as the moon card. Like when I first started using this deck. Because it's very beautiful. Okay. Alright. And then let's see. What else you got for my wonderful Aquarius? What you want Aquarius to know? And then you got the five of cups. Okay. Now, let's get into their energy. What do you want Aquarius to know about the energy that they're interacting with? Okay, Aquarius. So, you're thinking about your security and your stability, okay? You're thinking about um, maybe even being more practical in how you move. You're really just thinking about your home and wanting your home to be secure and, and um, straight, right? But then you also have this um, Six of Pentacles energy where you have to compromise. And it doesn't know if this person was really compromising because the Six of Pentacles energy is really about generosity and being able to give and take. It shouldn't be a one-sided relationship. However, with this moon card, I'm sorry, with this star card on the board, because it's asking you to have um, faith really, right? And to be renewed, this could be because there was um, a lot of um, discouragement in this relationship. You do have the Five of Cups energy, which is talking about clinging to the past. And this is disappointment. This is regret. Um, this is despair. For some of you, maybe you have lost somebody, like physically lost somebody. Okay? Um, but the energy that you were de dealing with is very manipulative energy, however. Okay? Uh you do have it clarified by the Queen of um, Swords. And with the Queen of Swords, if you look at this card, she's been through some shit. Like, she's not smiling, right? Um, she just looks very tight. Like, everything is tight. Tied up. This energy, if you're not careful, this energy, you could be definitely overly emotional or super bitchy, okay? Um, so some of you are probably very in your feelings right now about all of this that's going on up here, um, with this Gemini or with this Aries. 
because you got Gemini and Aries, but Gemini's popping up a lot in this deck, just so you know. Okay. Um, and then I think the star card is um, Aquarius. So you could be dealing with another Aquarius. But it is popping up in your energy. So this could definitely be your energy, Aquarius. Okay, so let's take a look at the energy that you're interacting with, my wonderful Aquarius. What is the energy Aquarius is interacting with? What do you want Aquarius to know about the energy that they are interacting with? I should have got me some iced tea before I sat down to do your video. I drank it all in Gemini's video. Um... I'm trying to remember if you guys popped up in um, Gemini's video, and I think you did. So you definitely could be dealing with the Gemini. All right. You got the four of um, pentacles on the board. Right, and that's supposed to be all about stability. That's supposed to be about control, right? That's like that self-mastery work when you're putting in the work, when you're actually, like, gaining the control and the discipline and the stability that you need to put in the work for things, right? But it has here the Eight of Cups, right? So all of that stability and control with this Eight of Cups, it looks like somebody's walking away from something. They're not even in the place where they're sitting and contemplating, um, building or um, making something stable, they're walking away. So their energy is they're walking away from something. Hmm. You got the Seven of Pentacles popping up here, right? Whose back is just turned, too. Right? The Seven of Pentacles is like, Where's the vision? Where's the plan? I'm not seeing a vision. I'm not seeing a plan. They don't have a vision. They don't have a plan. Right? You don't have a vision. You don't have a plan. It's like shit is just dried up. Yeah. Look at this. The, the tower card. But with this tower card, it's like uh, laser focus. Right, that's Mars, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio, um, or an Aries, right? And this is clarified by the uh, King of Pentacles, but the King of Pentacles, his back is turned. So, the person that you're dealing with um, definitely um, probably would have represent what you would consider to be your stability, um, maybe even um, your security. Um, this could be someone that you, you live with. Um, their energy is saying here that they're walking away from this. Um, whatever you guys may have been, um, I want to say... Um, planning together or maybe investing towards, right? Um, there has been a tower moment here because it's like they came in with this low laser focus and just kind of like um, change things. Change Things have definitely changed. Things have definitely changed, okay? So things have definitely, definitely, definitely changed, okay? Um, or they could have came in with certain, whatever this revelation is, because you do have the King of Pentacles, but the King of Pentacles, his back is turned. So he's not even seeing all of this shit that he's created in the, in the back. All right? Not even seeing that. Like his back is turned and just looking at all the work. All right? All the work that needs to be put in. So that's all that authority. So this is very authoritative. This is very dominating and controlling energy. Clarify this. What is this tower card about? We know we have dominating and controlling energy. What's the tower card about? What's the tower card about? What's that sudden change that they came in with? Clarify this sudden change that they came in with from a wonderful Aquarius. What's the sudden change? What's the 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 change? Mm. Okay, you got the six of um, wands on the board. 
okay? The Six of Wands, a.k.a. the Six of Fire. But the Six of Wands is saying there's probably, like, a lot of ego, a lot of fighting going on. This is um, definitely someone fell from your grace. You don't have confidence. Um, you, maybe they don't have confidence in themselves or there's no confidence in a relationship, okay? Uh, this person could tend to be very materialistic also, okay? Yeah, there's conflict because if you look at this card, there's blood on the board. Somebody might be, yeah, like intuitively. Yeah, they got the magician card on the board. This is manipulative energy. Okay. Well, maybe, yeah, this is um definitely manipulative energy or maybe... um. They're just not going to take the risk. What are they not? What's going on with this magician card? What's going on? So we know that there's conflict here. Dominating energy. What's going on with this magician card? What are they up to with this magician card? What are they up to? Let Aquarius know. What are they up to? What are they up to with this magician card? What are they up to? Whoa. All right, my wonderful Aquarius. We got the reset card on the board. Okay. They really thinking about walking away. Okay. This is um beginnings. This is being a free spirit. They want, yeah, this is being a free spirit. Somebody wants to be free. Somebody wants to be free and somebody no longer wants to be attached. Somebody wants to be free. Somebody no longer wants to be attached. Okay. Um, what else do you want Aquarius to know? What else do you want Aquarius to know? What else do you want Aquarius to know? What else you want Aquarius to know about this situation? Somebody wants to be free. They want to manifest. They want their Ace of Cups. They want their Ace of Cups. Do they want their Ace of Cups? Do they want their Ace of Cups with Aquarius? Do they want their Ace of Cups with Aquarius? Let's... What's going on? Do they want their Ace of Cups with Aquarius? Hmm. We got the Chariot card popping up. The Chariot card is showing up on this side. Right? They don't want... It's like lack of direction, my wonderfuls. Lack of control. Very aggressive energy. Yep, look. They wouldn't drop off this responsibility. You got the Ten of Wands here, my love. Take a gap. They feel like they're taking on too much. It's too stressful. They are stressed out. They are stressed out. What y'all stressed out about in this relationship? And I think we talked about that in the beginning. Right? We talked about that in the beginning. We talked about there was lack of foresight. Um, things weren't being planned. Right? We talked about that. Somebody definitely wants out. Somebody did not see a future with you. And it's just fear of the unknown. Or you may not see a future with someone. There's too much conflict going on. This person is super, super controlling. Okay? Super controlling. Super duper controlling. You could be the one to walk away, or they, they could be the one to want to walk away. You do have the Gemini's in reverse. Shit is just not in alignment. You have manipulative energy going on here, right? And you definitely have the King of Pentacles here, and they could be manipulating you towards money because they want to move on, okay? Because this Knight of Sight, not the King, the Knight of Pentacles is moving forward, okay? He's moving forward. And they sitting with this four of cups thinking about how they can move forward. Or you're sitting with your four of cups thinking about how you can move forward. 
but this energy over here is like they there's something about they feel like they either they ready to drop off this they don't want to carry this no more they ready to end this because they want to move forward and it does not look like they want to move forward with you my wonderful aquarius this could be a lover situation this could be a business situation this could be a friendship situation okay but you got the fool card over here too. It's kind of like you ready for a reset yourself. So you ready for a new beginning yourself. You ready for a new beginning yourself too, Aquarius. Mm. You could be dealing with a fucking Gemini. You got the lover's card on the board. Okay. You ready to reset and really get the love that you want. As of over here, where they got the lover's card and the um, overall energy was saying, you are walking away from the shit that's not in alignment. You no longer want to be in this manipulative shit. You just contemplating how you can get, how you can get things methodically. You contemplating how to move. That's what this shit is. Because you will get your ace of cups. Okay? You can get your ace of cups. You can get your your um you you can get your ace of wands. You can get your ace of um pentacles. You can get your ace of swords. This is what this mastery is about, okay? And with the Gemini card here, you could be dealing with the Gemini. That's the lovers card. That's things coming into alignment, okay? That's things coming into alignment. That's union. That's values. That's making the right choices, or about making choices. That you know, okay, Gemini. I'm sorry. Okay, Aquarius, you could be dealing with the Gemini because there's heavy Gemini energy on this board. And if I'm not mistaken, in the Gemini reading, I think there was Aquarius energy there too. Somebody is ready to walk away. And I think the both of y'all know that at this point. Like, y'all know this shit ain't working. Both of you know this shit ain't working. You both know that. You both, you both are ready to move on. Fuck. I think that was the title of their video too. Okay. All right, my wonderful Aquarius, I hope this was helpful. It's kind of like at the point y'all don't even know what y'all fighting over now. Y'all just know it ain't working. Y'all just fighting over shit just to be fighting over shit at this point, okay? Uh, all right, my lovelies, I don't know if I said this in the beginning of the video, but I will be going live tonight, um, Friday the 13th, Eastern Standard Time. I will also be doing um, Q&A from the chat. After the general reading is completed, we'll be answering questions from the chat. Um, check out the description box below where you can find how you can contact me, make donations, and schedule a private session with me if you would like. Also, um, I think how you can win, um, I don't know if I said that in the beginning, but also how you can win a free reading. My girl Kim Warner's information is also in the description box, my lovelies, because she does natal charts as well as um, natal reports based on your love, your career, okay? Uh, so you guys can check that out. That's going to be in the description box also. Uh, I do post dailies every morning at 12.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which kind of gives you a preview of the day before you leave your house. It's kind of like a weather forecast. Well, it's an energy forecast. How about that? Okay. So check that out. Um, I do read comments. I may not get a chance to respond to everyone, but I do read comments. So you guys can definitely leave your comments in the description, uh, uh, in the comment box, and I read them and. I go based on that, what type of readings you guys want, what, what you want to know more about. I try to answer questions. So um, just hit me up with the comments um, and come on and join us on live tonight. Okay, guys. I think that's pretty much it. Um, the both of you know this is over. It's time for you to move on. Um, the both of you. It's kind of like you both had the same interchangeable energy. So either you're dealing with another Aquarius or you could be dealing with a Gemini. And I think um, we also had Mars in there, which was Aries or Scorpio. All right, my love, do something kind for yourself. Drink plenty of water. Program your water if you need to. I need to go get iced tea. I just had like jaws. I don't know if you can actually read this. Can you read this? See, like I have jaws and stuff. This one says love and prosperity. Uh and one of it is inverse so i have it so i can read it and then i have it written backwards so whatever i pour in this glass can also read what you know usually it's water but today's iced tea shit if i could program what i can program my tea, right all right my lovelies i will see you guys in your next individuals or the daily tomorrow and the daily tomorrow how about that 
Okay, check the dailies out. Um, and I will see you tonight on the live. Okay, my wonderful Aquarius. Do something kind for yourself. Love your, yourself. Be kind to yourself, okay? And drink plenty of water. And I will see you guys later. Bye, my love.